What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and another bit of gaming news. On Mondays, you know I bring the videos, so many videos, five to seven usually on Mondays, because there's just so much news to go over. Now, with everyone talking about Valorant, um, it's an interesting conversation to have uh, in terms of how it's going to change the esports landscape, but that's not really the kind of stuff I cover on this channel, nor do I necessarily care that much about it. What I'm interested in is your data security and the fact that there apparently is a very interesting uh, kernel uh, level anti-cheat uh, that boots itself every time your PC launches. And the only way to avoid it is to uninstall it, meaning you have a piece of essentially malware running all the time. And speaking of protecting your computer from malware, this video sponsor can help you do it. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Total AV. You know, as all my fellow YouTubers seem to be in an unending uh, defense against various cyber attacks, including malware, viruses, and phishing URLs, it made me think about just how important it is to have an antivirus still in 2020. These things affect all users of all computers and smartphones. In fact, many Mac users still feel like they're totally immune to that when a recent report shows a nearly 260% increase in viruses and malware directed specifically at Mac computers. What is spyware? Well, along with malware and phishing URLs, they are the most common kind of threat you'll face. They secretly record your activity, harvest your data, and personal information and surfing habits. They run in the background quietly, which is why you need an antivirus suite. Total AV protects you against all of these things. For you, the quartering subscribers, you can get a huge 80% off the one year premium package, which includes a VPN on up to three devices. Make sure you protect your PC or Mac today by getting Total AV now through the link in the description or pinned comment below. Now I've been seeing an absolute metric ton of information going on around Valorant. And one of the biggest problems you get with a lot of these online games is of course cheaters. It's been the problem since the beginning of time, Back in the day when I used to play FPS games over dial-up, there were cheaters then. That's right, dial-up. I used to play Quake 2 over dial-up, and imagine this. If you had a ping less than 300, you were living the dream, and you were playing that game online all the time. Of course, you were getting wrecked by kids on college campuses with pings lower than 20, but you were trying nonetheless. Now, PC Gamer put out this article talking about tips for playing Valorant, but the post itself has been overtaken by uh, this post. Before anyone touches Valorant, please read this. It has a kernel level anti-cheat that boots itself into every, every time when your PC launches, and the only way to avoid it is to uninstall it. Now you can make the decision to uninstall malware or not. Grum's friend of the channel, Mark Kern, talking about this. Looks like Valorant's anti-cheat software, which is always running, even when the game is not play being played, has coding issues that has caused problems with other games. Your PC is only as secure as Riot's coding thanks to the always-on anti-cheat. Hope there are not bugs there. Now, you might be questioning... Who owns Riot? Why is Jeremy so interested in this? Well, Ryan is owned by Chinese company Tencent. So essentially, your data is a free-flowing apparatus between you and China. And the only way you can stop that is by removing the game entirely. After reading more and more about this, it looks like it'll have to be a hard pass on Valorant. It looks like I'm not going to play Valorant. Don't want the CCP running some anti-cheat on my hardware. Fair response, if it means no cheaters and no bugs, I'm all for it. Have similar things installed on CSGO stuff. Only reason you wouldn't want anti-cheat is if you're cheating. Sure, it's invasive. They get all the picks, but way fewer cheaters worth. Well, I don't agree with that. I think that uh, allowing willingly a free flow of information from my PC to some Chinese company is not exactly what I want. Now I understand. Okay, so there's always this argument, right? It's not really an argument that I have with my friends, but it's a discussion. 
that accepting modern technology, while it doesn't have to mean compromising your data security, most people willingly do this. If you want to, say, protect your data, you really can't use a smartphone. You should use a flip phone with um, a chip that you can switch out or a burner phone. And just most people are willing to trade their data security for convenience. And I understand, I'm not going to admonish people for that, especially if you're just careful about the type of data you keep on your computer or that you keep on your phone. Stats starts on startup at driver level, okay? Valorant and to cheat, software causing problems in other games. There have been reports in recent days that Valorant, which is Riot Games' fantasy-based CSGO clone, has caused people to lag because of anti-cheat system. The reason for this is simple, because Riot uses a pervasive anti-cheat system that goes above and beyond the call of duty in order to squash cheating in their ultra-competitive game. A thread started by a Reddit user, Dolphin Whacker, noted that Valorant anti-cheat driver VGK.sys starts when the computer, uh, when user's computer is turned on, which is quite different from any other anti-cheat system, such as BattleEye or Anti-Easy Anti-Cheat both of which load when you're opening the game and unload when you've closed it. If you'd like to see it for yourself, open command and type SC query VGK. The user ended the post by asking if this was an int intentional and Riot Arkham responded saying that it was and that it doesn't scan anything. When the driver is designed to take up as a few system res it's designed to take up a few e uh, system resources as possible and doesn't communicate as possible. Really? Valorant players will probably want to remove it because it seems to go through and take up a lot of system resources. Reddit user Red Red Beard recorded himself playing World of Warcraft and stuttering at regular intervals. When he uninstalled Valorant, the stuttering immediately stopped. Other users noted that while they were having FPS drops as well, and Riot Arkham wanted Red Red Shirt to start up a support ticket in an effort to have the ball officially rolling. Interesting. Interesting. Quick take, easy anti-cheat has been hit or miss for me, usually a miss, but I suppose anti-cheat is something you don't notice if done correctly. But, and, I'm sorry, and if it's been noticed when something goes wrong, there's a big something though. Uh, and this needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Whatever the excuse, there's no reason to have anti-cheat running before a game launches, and if it's going to take up a ton of resources, either fix it or have it run only like every other anti-cheat. I'd agree with that entirely. Uh, and if we look at this thread, it's pretty interesting. Uh, you know, Valorant anti-cheat. By the way, this has been in discussion for weeks. If we go back to this article on, on the 26th of March, Valorant anti-cheat leads answers many questions on Reddit. Or their lead answers many questions. People are very concerned about it, how it's going to stop cheating. But they never forget, they never stop to worry about what it's doing your computer. The kernel anti-cheat driver VGK.sys starts when you turn your computer on. To turn it off, you either need to change the name of the driver so it won't load on restart, or you can understand un un uh, uninstall the driver. It will be installed again when you open the game. So yeah, the big issue here is that running even when players don't have the game open. From startup, no less. Edit, it runs at ring zero of the Windows kernel, which means it has the same rights as administrator the moment you boot. For comparison, BattleEye and Easy Anti-Cheat both load when you're opening the game and unload when you've closed it. If you'd like to see for yourself, you can do this. It has been confirmed as intended behavior by Riot Arkham over at R Valorant, as well as him giving an explanation about Riot's stance on this. Now, look, I can understand why... By the way, shout out to Void Docs, this user. I can understand why they do it and people wanting better anti-cheat. But this brings up a whole number of issues about data vulnerability to security to trust. You have a piece of software that cannot be turned off, that runs with elevated privileges nonstop on your system. If something with if someone with malicious intent can figure out a way to use it as a rootkit, like come on, Riot are not magicians. Perfect software that cannot be cracked or beaten, as apparently some Valorant fans think. Let's say anti-cheat gets compromised tomorrow. You won't know that your computer is exposed and it won't update until you restart the game. I also believe it should be made clear that this is something the game does and at very least should be something toggleable. 
Ryan Arkham is already saying that you can uninstall the anti-cheat if you want to. So let this be something easy users can, talk, users can toggle on and off. Then comes this issue. With the amount of backlash Blizzard rightfully got for the Blitz Chung incident, and how many people were all over Blizzard and Tencent for having shares of 5% stake, how are people actually just waving off anyone with concerns for having startup kernel on their system from a company entirely owned by Tencent? How are people faulting others for caring about the, you, the issue and asking for more than Riot just saying, trust us? Top comment here. To add to an example to the possibility of abuse, the Counter-Strike uh, pubg client ESEA used to be able to read your Steam chat logs. I don't know if they still can now. Uh, in regards to the ESEA, uh, there's also a controversy years ago when it intentionally installed a cryptocurrency miner into their client in order to increase revenue. If you don't want to give these companies too much power in the name of anti-cheat, it can and probably will be abused in certain ways. Indeed, this is continued. The trust issue is quite a big one. Riot is owned by Tencent, and Tencent are no stranger to privacy and security issues along with other stuff they are known for. From info sent to the Chinese government to Tencent games being flagged as Trojan horses. I am baffled that users on our Valorant are totally fine saying with, oh, just trust us. This is no joke. Uh, this is an erosion uh, that people, unfortunately, are going to be okay with. And the best we can do is share the video, share these posts so people know what they're getting into. Will 14-year-olds care? No, they won't. But maybe their parents will. And maybe people in their 20s will think twice before giving up access to their computer so easily for a free video game. I mean, legitimately. Riot, you have to at least let people turn this off. That, I think, is the best victory we can hope for here. If people still willingly want to give their information, administrative access, by the way, to this thing, if they still want to allow that, that's up to them. But at least let informed consumers be able to turn this off. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.